Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Red Biscuit back with another Roblox video. Well, not actually Roblox video today. Today, I'm actually going to be telling you guys a story. This actually happened to me a while ago. Uh, I thought you guys might actually find it a little bit entertaining. So, uh, yeah. Let's get into it. Alright, so, I was at the town pool, um, in summer, of course. A few of my friends, um, one was a guy named Aaron, a guy named Will, a guy named Declan, a guy named Justin, right? And, uh, well, you see, there, we were in line for the diving board, right? And, uh, my friend Aaron, he, he says, hey, you know, he, he calls out my name, he's like, can I, can I uh, back cut you? And I'm like, yeah, sure, no problem, if it's alright with uh, Declan. And he's like, and Declan's like, yeah, it's fine, man. So, he, he goes and does it. And then, you know, we think everything's completely normal, n nothing wrong. Um, and then, this guy that looked like, you guys can imagine a blonde scrubby with rainbow aviator glasses. Um, yeah, basically, a PC Principal dude, <laughs> you, if you guys know who PC Principal is from South Park, um, basically imagine him with, uh, long hair, um, yeah, he started harassing me about how his kid needed to be in line, I'm like, well, get your kid in line, don't you go yapping to me, and he's, he's just like, my, my kid was here first, you shouldn't be cutting people, I'm like, dude, your your kid was not affected by that at all. It's not like someone who wasn't in line went and just cut. No, it was like, you know, someone who's already in line went up a space, but it couldn't have affected his kid because to think about two people switching places doesn't really change the the amount of people between the front of the line and his kid. In fact, I don't even know who this kid was. Like he never pointed out which kid was his kid. But, anyways, so, this little, uh, we're, we're gonna call him, uh, Darren, okay? So, Darren keeps yelling at us about this, and then, um, this guy who's, you know, like, totally friends with everybody in town, like, total, total, like, everyone knows the guy, like, total nice guy, right? He, he comes up to me, he's like, well, I'm gonna get this whole thing on camera, don't worry. So, I'm like, okay, that sounds good. So... The lifeguard actually gets involved, and then, um, Darren over here, he's like, Well, this kid was, was assaulting my children, so, so, you could need to, need to, need to kick him out. And then, super nice guy, who, who we're just gonna call Jake, um, he, he was like, Yo, lifeguard, I got this whole thing on camera, um, Darren here was just being a total, you know, uh, Darren, <laughs> Darren was being a Darren. So, uh, yeah, and then lifeguard's like, what's, what's, what's going on? And then he goes like, oh, and we're, so he thinks we're, we're, you know, cutting his kid or something, we're not, we're just cutting each other, and it's like, the person behind you cuts you, so it doesn't affect his kid at all, period. And then, she tells him to go sit down, and, um, no, I think everything's normal, right? But, of course, it's not. So... I was swimming in the pool, you know, big giant pool, just imagine a big pool with two diving boards. Um, so, I notice there's someone by my bag, and guess who it is? It's Darren. Now, I, I noticed that he wasn't actually going through anyone's bag until he picked up uh, my friend Aaron's phone, and I was like, I can't go on my friend's phone, what's he doing? So, um... Our, our town pool always has uh, uh, two uh, policemen there. Yes, this is a bad town. I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> you need two cops at town pool. But, so, I, I tell Aaron, and then uh, Aaron goes to the two cops there. One of them, we actually know he's our dare officer, so, um, you know, th that's all great. And then they go back to the guy, and they're like, why are you taking this kid's phone? He's like, I didn't take the guy's phone. Then when Aaron goes back to his back, he can't actually find the phone. So, you know, why would you steal someone's phone? 
Like, what, what, what was the thought process there? So, the cops ask him if they can search his, um, you know, his, like, little area where he got, you know, the, the big, long, you know, chair thing. Well, he says, yeah, go, go ahead. You won't find anything. So, they find a phone, and they're like, okay, what's the password? And he's like, I'm not telling you to do my phone. And Ariel's like, password is blah, blah, blah. So, the cops d try the password, and it works, and they get in. And they ask, um, Darren, uh, why Aaron, <laughs> Darren, Aaron, they ask Darren why Aaron knew the password, and he's like, he's a hacker, he's a hacker, he's like, there's a 45-year-old man yelling about how some 13-year-old is a hacker, it's just like, dude, he couldn't have hacked your phone, you it's his phone, like, can't you just see how dumb you look? It's, it's kind of funny, actually. So, of course, Aaron B13, he thinks everything's alright, so he doesn't actually do anything with the guy. The guy, the guy gets let go and all that. But it's just like, what a, what a weirdo to, like, first harass, uh, like, five kids just because one was cutting the other and it was nobody between them, so it didn't really matter. And then going to stealing a kid's phone because I don't know why. <laughs> like, thought it was a good idea or something. Uh, but, yeah, so i never seen the guy since. And, uh, yeah. so, yeah. If you guys enjoyed, if you did, uh, make sure you smash that like button. And, uh, Comment down below if you've ever had something like this happen to you. And uh, let me know if you want me to do some more of this, like, story time stuff, I guess. Alright, bye!